things are going really good right now. I got up this morning and I'm basically feeling almost there. Almost just the movement of a lot of stuff now coming out. I don't have any of the real flu-like symptoms anymore. They're just disappeared, like evaporated. Um, I got a really good sleep. Seven hours I got last night, <laughs> which is really unheard of. Since I even started this thing, it's been like three, four, two, you know, really been off the wall. But uh, last night really changed things for me. But also I just started getting into the uh, infrared more, so which really worked out really well. Made me sleep good. I have to say that I can't pin it down to one particular item except for one thing. And that was the um, antibodies. The antibodies made a big difference. Now, my O2 and my heart rate, my heart rate's up today. It's 85 right now. And I have a little bit of the shakes too. And my um, O2 is 96. So I'm basically normal. Sally got up with me this morning too. So she's rumbling around the house trying to find something to, you know, eat. Um, Wendy's still asleep. Of course, she might be getting up. I don't know. She probably hears us in here. And when Sally gets up, she kind of starts rumbling around, you know. Um, <coughs> coffee's tasting fantastic this morning. I mean, it's it's there. And this is my Arbuckles. And I'm going to go over the Arbuckles later on. Not today, but, you know, I'm going to do a coffee segment here. Now that I'm starting to feel and start tasting again, I'm Taste is really, really well. I think I'm about 80%. Yep, she's up. Um, and my smell, yeah, there she goes in the shower. Yeah, my smell, I'm not smelling anything bad this morning. So, and I didn't smell too anything bad yesterday that much either. It's just in the morning. No. Yesterday morning, I think I was clear too, wasn't I? So then I think this stuff has really kicked in. It's really taking control of the whole situation. Like I said, taste and smell looking really good. Um, I think this might be the last time I do this. I keep saying this, but it's been two consecutive days now of basically coming out of it, <clears throat> you know, and uh, now it's just like that clean out period. That's what I feel like. It's like the clean out period. So that's good. Now, uh, I know a lot of you guys like me doing these openings. And I did the openings mostly just to kind of help with the mood that, you know, with how we're fighting it and how we're dealing with it. You know, it just kind of gave a little extra something. And a lot of you are wanting me to continue on with these openings. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm not sure if that's the right way to go yet, because um, I think that a lot of new people see that and they kind of drift away and don't see the rest of the show, you know? Um, <clears throat> I'm not really sure. So if I still do them, it might be a, a bit shorter. But I'm going to leave that up to you guys. I want you guys to tell me what you want me to do. Uh, I don't mind doing them. <coughs> I might not be able to do them all the time because they're, I have to go back and look at a lot of my old footage, choose what I'm doing, go back and catalog and categorize and find... A lot of my old stuff and then I you know use stuff from other people that I know uh, to try to you know build these things together and, um, and I have a, a lot of friends that are in the music and you know they throw theirs in I tell them what I'm looking for and they help me out so it's it's very uh, it's very time intensive and uh, that's why I'm saying I might not be able to do them all the time but uh, I'll try to do them as much as I can uh, so I, I'm kind of like uh, I'm going to leave that up to you guys if that's something you really want me to continue on with. I don't mind doing it at all. Um, it's just that I need to know whether you think it's really worth it um, to do it. Uh, I'm also getting ready to start another channel. And there's a lot of reasons for that. Because this show, the one that we're doing right now, it's so, it's, it's so spread out so long. We thought maybe we should take some of it and put it into another one so we can get down to specifics on this show and then the other one would have all the other stuff. So that's something else I thought maybe you guys could kind of throw around in your heads and let me know what you think about that. But uh, that's really about all I got today. 
I'm just feeling really good, so I think we're probably going to work around the house today um, and uh, see how that goes. So, anyway, you guys, we'll just have to see what the day brings. Talk to you in a bit. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. You guys, today I feel like a normal human being that's getting over a cold. Thank you, thank you, yes I do. Harry and I have started doing our far infrared sauna, did it again last night, had a good night sleep. Both of us did and um, just rest and relaxed. I wanted to get up. I wanted to get dressed. I need to go pay um, a payment that I have to do. I need to go to the bank. There's some things I need to do. I started coming down with this on the first, tested on the third. So according to all the guidelines and everything, I am should be fine going. And I have not had a, any temperature for three days now. So how many days has it been total? You. Well, I started getting on the 1st and today's the 15th. Yeah, okay. So I'm venturing out now and you're three days behind me to, right. to, to tomorrow will be your 10th right. day of the... Well, no. No, no. because you, you tested well, negative first, you waited three days, no, you're tested right, again. Because, mm -hmm. That's right. This is because I just did that yesterday was ten, day 10 be, when... I felt like something was happening. When I called yeah. our doctor and told him that mm -hmm. what my results were, he got you and I on everything. Everything because he knew you, he knows your health history, and he thought that you probably would get it. You had to wait three more days to get tested the second time, mm -hmm. and that came out <sighs> um, positive. Right. So you're behind me about three days as far as. Uh, symptoms because you had no symptoms when we tested on Monday the third but then by the fifth you had them oh, you, I was it hit you hard bad and heavy. shape boy. yes but then you that, sound better I sound better well, I think it's because of the antibodies I and really, I really antibodies do. and that are far infrared sauna yeah. I think has helped pushing it through I really do it um, you know all the little things the VIX the vitamins the electrolytes, all the things we're doing, I think has pushed us in the right direction for wellness. And you guys, I'm so excited. We get to go by. I want to go get a cup of our, one of our favorite cups of coffee because it'll be my first day with coffee. And I don't know what it tastes like yet. I don't know if I'm going to be able to taste it, but I can taste and smell. Now, it's not 100%, but I am tasting my food again. I am tasting and smelling already, and so is Harry. So according to a lot of folks, we are like way above the curb on that. I mean, that's so many people, it has taken them weeks and weeks to get back that. For us, it's already happening, so I'm very excited. I got up this morning, made a loaf of my um, protein buttermilk bread, and you guys, oops, I tried to put the lid on, I can't, even put it in my bread container because it's so tall and so big and I tried to cover it with the bread with this cake lid and it kind of took the top off I kind of put it back on but I am loving absolutely loving this this is my new bread this yeah, is my new it, bread it's so good this is my new egg white protein buttermilk bread 
this is heavenly and it toasts beautifully it toasts beautifully so i just made a loaf want to make sure it's okay i gotta refill our vitamins these are empty gotta do that got to go to uh the bank and drop off some some stuff and then we're gonna go uh grab a cup of coffee to go i'm excited fingers crossed it's gonna be arbuncles and i'm so excited because i am not i could not drink coffee couldn't drink it tasted like mud didn't even go near it but the way i feel today and the smell i could smell my bread cooking this morning and it smelled heavenly anyway you guys who's doing the kick off your weight loss in january challenge who's doing it today is an 18 hour fast or six hour window of eating it's a regular keto foods days use your macros and take a walk i think i want to take sally and harry and i and i think i just want to do a little drive around town now i, I don't know right now i have energy you think you have energy and then you start doing something and then all of a sudden you crash. And I'm sure we're gonna go through those things still, you know, but I feel like I'm on the well side. I think Carrie and I are on the well side of this now. Still got the stuff up here, but um, that's being helped uh, with the Navage, learning how to use that. It's a little scary when you first do it. Not so bad. Still gotta, still gotta perfect that. Oh, yeah. That helps clean this, and with Harry's smelling decay and rot, could be that it's festering up in his sinuses. So cleaning that out is extremely important. Using Redmond Real Salt, the really fine ground in it, and um, working through those things. Anyway, I want to remind everybody that everything you eat or drink the day before, sometimes two days after being sick, having any kind of antibiotics, medication, over-the-counter meds. Harry has one more of his uh, Dimet. Yeah, I thought I had one, but it was actually, yesterday we thought there was one more, but there's two more left, so I'll do, I'm gonna take the last one tomorrow morning. Okay, so that can absolutely have a direct effect. You get what's called a uh, moon <clears throat> face yeah. uh, when you take a steroid, especially uh, prednisolone. And I think it makes me, and I, and I started like, one of the nurses that watch us said to take it first thing in the morning. Yes, we've talked to the doctor and what changed a change, that. What cha a change. Yeah. Uh, so last night I slept so I slept yeah. good last night. We talked to the doctor. He said to change it out. So we did. And Harry's taking it in the morning. And I'm not taking my uh, inhaler after 4 p.m. because that makes a huge difference too as far as sleeping. Rinsing my mouth out, gargling afterwards. I'm not shaking. So we've learned along the way and we hope we are gleaning important information and we're passing that on to you. Anyway, you guys, what did we have to eat yesterday that was perfectly keto? Had a delicious breakfast. We had eggs and my buttermilk bread and we fried up that liverwurst and man was that good. That brought out the flavor of the liverwurst. Mm -hmm. Frying it in butter, mm -mm -mm. so, so, so good. I had some jam uh, with my bread. We had, I made my uh, cream of chicken mushroom soup. We ended up each having two cups, so two portions of that and you guys, when I was little, my mom used to feed us, you know, the Campbell's soup when we were sick. And she would take bread and she would butter it. And I'd fold it in half and dip it in my soup. That's what I did with my buttermilk bread. And it was heavenly. To be able to take just the bread and fold it with butter on it and dip it in my soup. Ooh, 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 ooh. It was delicious. It just brought me back to my childhood. It was, it was really, really, really good. Harry took the last of the old bay cheddar muffin, sliced it in half, buttered it, and put it on his soup, and he was in little heaven oh, man, was so eating good. his little muffin, too. So we had a really good dinner. That was absolutely delicious. And we each had about a third of a lemon. Now, those lemons are probably more like a half a lemon because they're huge <clears throat> in our teas. Um, I had 35 grams of carbs uh, because of all the things that I put in the chicken mushroom soup. I'm not worried about it at all. Those are total carbs. Fat was 81 grams. Protein was 83. I had 1193 grams. Harry had three eggs with three ounces of liverwurst. He had the one slice of bread with butter on it. 
He had uh, two cups of the cream of chicken mushroom soup. He had a slice of the bread. He had one Old Bay cheddar muffin. He had some butter and he had lemon. He had 21 carbs. Don't know why his carbs are different. Maybe the protein counteracts that, but the way I did it, that's what you had. I'm trying to see what I had different. Fat was 101 grams, protein was 91, and he had about 1,376 calories last night. Now this morning, I weighed the same. Weighed the same. Um, my intestines are not moving yet. Hopefully they will. The steroids can cause issues, um, blockages and things. Whenever you're sick, you can have issues one way or the other. You can either have, you know, loose or, or not at all. So I'm waiting for that to happen. Harry went up a little bit more. He has been almost 10 days doing the steroids and I'm sure that that is one of the main issues with that. So, not worried about it at all. Got my bread ready to go. Um, I have got to fill our vitamins um, for the week so we can take our vitamins today. We've got to, uh, let's do the big board because we, we, we need to get out the door and go do what we need to do so we can come back. How are you feeling overall today? Better. You yeah, sound I, better. When I did my thing this morning, I talked about it, about the differences. Every day brings a different, um, especially, you know, it's just changed. I, I'm kind of amazed by a lot of this right now. I'm still a little bit like, wow. Because usually I go into it deep. Yes, you do. Oh, no. you've, I'll you've, get influenza. I'll come. Yes, oh, you've man, been in the so You've been hospitalized twice mm -hmm. in in um, Washington State yeah. with influenza type A with like 103, <coughs> 104 degree temperature. Right. And, um, and so mean, we were concerned about this. Yes. Because the minute I took those antibodies, man, I mean, oh my God, within three or four hours, it was like I hit a wall. But anyways, um, a wall. Well, I hit a wall. I just stopped it. It was like I was going going to go bad into this because there was you a lot You thought you were going to go into pneumonia yeah, is what we were worried yeah, that's about. That's what the doctor kind of freaked out about. So, and it, as soon as I took those things in three to four hours, that all kind of like stopped. It's like, bam. It's like it just stopped it. Well, we could, it, it, it was, was like weird. our body was fighting. It's like you could feel it pushing everything out. It's like everything started happening very quickly. Yeah. You know? It was so, weird. We, I don't know how to put it. It was weird. I'm not used to that. I'm used to getting really bad. Yes, you are. And then slowly coming out. But this is like weird. Okay, anyways. Where are we? Oh. Um, yeah, I, I, you can see I'm kind of struggling with the steroids a lot. It, it's causing me to gain water weight. But yes. I'm taking them and you're not. Right. So, except you got you got a nice little zit coming. Oh, thank you. Just thank I'd, you. thought I'd bring it up. Z Zitty the zit on just, my chin. Just thought I'd bring it up. Yeah, thanks, dear. Got to bring her down, right? Okay. Nope. 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 Bring her up. Marty, Anyways. be good. Okay, so. Oh, my gosh. <coughs> Cruel, Marty. Uh-huh. Cruel, yeah. Um, <laughs> but that bread is really good. I like the bread. I could have ate more of that bread. <laughs> but we ran out, so she had to make another loaf this morning. How about those Old Bay oh, cheddar well, those, biscuits? You know, those, Muffins. you've got to have those with the soup. Yeah, super oh, good. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on here until we're until we're totally off all this stuff. Probably it's probably going to take about a week. This next week will be interesting we'll to see. it out and see what happens, and then things will fall back, and then <coughs> I can do what I wanted to do this Pardon. month. Because mm -hmm. this month is just, forget it. Well, I think I'm going to redo. We're going to here. Yeah, come back to me. We're gonna redo the challenge next month. Yeah. And as we recuperate, we're kinda gonna have to modify it a little bit for us. Um, I am working from home next week. Our company is still doing board week. People are flying in and everything. I don't be, and I feel that because my boss was asymptomatic totally, I feel that that's why our department at both facilities now, everyone is sick has had this in some way or another. Now, a couple of people thought they had a bad cold, never went and got tested, are still coughing and hacking and getting over it. Um, but 
it's interesting how fast and how rapid this particular one is doing because I don't all of you who are sharing I don't know one person who has not been affected either themselves getting over it just got it you know kids that have it you know family members it's amazing to me all of the information you guys are sharing with us because I feel the more informed you are about what is going on, the, more, the better decision you can make for yourself and your family. That's how I feel about that. Anyway, you guys, I'm excited. Fingers crossed the coffee tastes good because I really, really, yeah, really want to have some go. coffee. And I've got to get some things done. But anyway, you guys, we will um, share what we do. I don't think I'm going to be filming no. this or anything because we're going to be in the car. Um, I'll let you guys know, you know, how it went in the next segment. But I'm excited because I'm going to have some coffee again. And it's been 14 days. Yes, indeed. You guys see the top of this? It's touching the top of my cake pan. I've got Arbuncles. Yep. I'm so excited. And you guys. I picked it up. It tastes. Man, I can smell it. Oh. And it tastes delicious. Yes, it does. And they asked, would you like us to grind the art buckles for you? We didn't know they even did that. I said, well, can you? And they said, well, sure you can. And they asked what kind. Yeah, I don't have to grind like, it. They can do regular or fine ground. So they ground it for us, put it all in there. So we got our art buckles. And if you guys have ever seen Harry do the coffee thing, you guys, there's a candy cane, a stick of candy in every bag. There's the whole story Kurt, we about it. can't eat that. There's a story about it. No. Yeah, I, I went over it when I showed the art buckles, but I haven't. Uh, show it cooking one up. I can smell coffee. I can taste coffee. I'm so excited. I get coffee again, you guys. Man, it take that first taste, that first sip was just like, <gasps> and then oh, it tastes so good. Harry's got his over there because his is almost gone. He like, he like I drained. It. He guzzled it. He's a guzzler. I've been a sipper. Anyway, you guys, got our stuff done. Little tired. Little tired. i I must admit. Um, you know, just doing the few things that we did makes you just a little bit tired, but man, it felt so good. I felt normal. Wendy normal. <laughs> That's a whole different story. I felt normal being, being dressed and, and having my So Kofi butterfly shoes on. Oh, we didn't show those, did we? Oh, you didn't? My So Kofis. Love my So Kofis. And these are much more affordable than flu box. Yeah. Uh, but I love them because can you see the butterfly on the toe? Can you see the blue butterfly? Yeah. See the blue butterflies? Mm -hmm. There's all kinds of butterflies on here. Yeah. They have these in red and white too. But. Come up. And then Harry got me this cute little butterfly for Christmas. He got me some cute, beautiful pens. Yeah. When so. you love pens, man. I do. I love jewelry. Anyway, yeah, he got me some good stuff. He said, go online, and he goes, make a, a wish list. And then we talked about dollar amount for Christmas, and he picked out the stuff from the things that I liked. He picked out what he liked, and he got them for me, so I'm very excited. Some of the stuff didn't come on time, though. Yeah. It came after Christmas. She had Christmas that's for fine. like a week. I did. I, I'd rather have Christmas for a week than just one day anyway. So, yeah, he got me this beautiful poison little but butterfly. And, yeah. So, I feel m so much better. So much better. I'm tired now, though. I think we're going to just... I don't know just... if it's tired. I feel like... I feel like after, you know, like my battery's, <coughs> like my battery's been pulled all of a sudden, like. Right. I don't. It's no it's, energy. It's, it's not, not like sleep. It's not sleep. It's, 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 it's more like, like holding this camera right now. Yeah. What it was this morning versus right now is like things twice as heavy as it was this right. morning. Right. It's, it's no energy. Yeah. Your energy level drops immediately. Yeah. So I think we're going to just relax for a little bit. 
And then I want to start picking up. And then we stuff. need to, yeah, we need to start putting away the inside Christmas stuff. Just a little bit at a time. Probably going to take us a couple days to get that. We may not go to storage, you know. Um, uh, you think you want to be able to do it until you start doing it. And then all of a sudden you just go boom. So anyway, you guys, we'll talk to you guys in the next segment. But I'm so excited because I'm going to go drink my coffee now. Yes, indeed. Mmm. Ah. Ah, coffee aromatherapy. <laughs> so, we've been busy. Except for this one. Where is it going now? I don't know. <laughs> yes, I know, Sally. Oh, look at you. Huh? Sally. Mommy's done. Yeah, I'm done. We're done. I'm so done. Done with what? Christmas repacking. I have my Christmas trees down. The wreaths are down. All the Christmas stuff is gone. Yep. I think that was one of the hardest repacks I've ever done in my entire life. I think I I'm done. I think I'm what done. What about dinner? What about dinner? Are you cooking? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you want dinner, honey? I think we should eat something. How about bologna and cheese sandwiches and a cup of cream of chicken mushroom soup? Oh, I can do that. Can you do that? Yeah. What do you think, Sal? Yeah, I think that'd be good. Can you carry me, Sally? Can you carry me into the kitchen? <laughs> Carry me into the kitchen, Harry. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, I'll get up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You guys, tomorrow we're taking all that back to the storage shed. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Man, I'm telling you. Whew, we got it done though, Harry. Yep. Yeah. We got it done. done. Oh, and I cleaned out my vase. My girlfriend Shelly dropped off some beautiful roses and there. Sally's got hair all over everything. But anyway, I got my vase done. So it's all clean and ready to go. Let me gotta go back in the china cabinet. Let me put it on the table. I'll put it back in in just a minute. Oh, I think I can do it. Are you stalling? Because I want to eat. <laughs> okay, okay, Harry, I'll do it, I'll do it, I promise. <sighs> Where's the soup? Oh. Soup. <coughs> yep, that's it. Bologna, do you want, do you want horseradish, cheddar, Boar's head, pepper, Colby Jack, or cheddar, sharp cheddar, and bologna. What would you? Sharp. Do? Sharp cheddar. After we eat, we are going in the sauna. Before yeah. you edit, before you do anything, I'm telling you, I am amazed. I'm like a hundred and ten percent better. I seriously. Yeah, that's why she. Maybe clean up all this Christmas stuff. I made you? Yeah, why well, she I sat made there. you. She just sat there watching me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not what happened. Okay. I'll make a sandwich. How about half sandwich and a cup of soup? Yeah, that's fine. I just okay. want something to eat. You get some bowls. Don't get this big old zit. Well stop turning, turning it over here. Big old big old zit. What's that your Zitty the zit. Omni zit? <laughs> <laughs> Be nice. Woo! That was cute. Mm -hmm. That was good. That was good. Oh. Man, I'm telling you. But I'm so I am proud that we actually got all that stuff packed up. Yeah, me too. We just we, we just plugged right through it. One day. And did it. And I'm amazed that we did because seriously let me wash my hands 
petting the dog and all that good stuff. How do you get not getting dressed? Uh, it made me feel better. Makes and going better and getting and coffee, stuff. that really, that coffee. Oh my gosh. I can taste the coffee. Well, that's, oh, that was the best coffee I've had in a, a million years. It was fabulous. It was fabulous. It's uh, this, Arbuckles. Arbuckles, you guys. This one right here. It was is delicious. My, this is my favorite ah. coffee. And they ground it up for me, so I didn't have to. I'm covered really with nice. Sally hair. And you guys. <clears throat> Just take your bread loaf, turn it over and slice it. It really slices much nicer that way. Sally here's the bread. She loves this bread. Oh my gosh, this dog loves the bread. Oh, I know. Okay. She's like nuts for the bread. Yep. She loves it. Do you have certain things that you really will dive into? Like all animals. I guess this is one of her favorite things. You want a little bit of bread, baby? Oh, hell no. Yeah. Kick, kick, kick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she loves that bread. Okay, Harry. Get some mustard going on. Yep. I'm just very proud that we were able to get that's enough. I'm sharing with you, buddy boy. I must say, I like the uncured bologna from Whole Foods better than I like the boar's head bologna. And you guys, don't forget there's a little plastic little ringlet around the bologna. Don't forget to take that off. I feel like I've accomplished something today. Seriously. And then you're going to go into the sauna, then I'm going to go in, you're going to jump in the shower, then I'm going to jump in the shower, and we'll be done. Right. We'll be perfect. Perfect for the day. There's our bologna sandwich. Do you want two slices? Yeah, that's good. Just like that. You don't want another <coughs> cheese or just one cheese? One cheese. One cheese. Okay. Yeah, man. Oops. My bad. It'll be interesting to see because my tastes are back. I gotta wash because my hands got baloney and mustard all over them. It'll be interesting to see. You're not on camera. No, I'm fine. Don't wash your red and white towels with a purple dress. Or you will have purple and red towels. That's what I did. I didn't care. I threw whites. And I took Harry's socks and underwear and, and dark t-shirts and just threw them all in one load and just said, you know, devil may care. We got clean clothes again. You know, it gets to the point. So now I got purple socks. No, you don't. They're kind of, well, one kind of got a little purplish. Well, Nothing wrong with purple socks. You can have those. I wear purple socks you all like the time. You like all the weird colors. You can have it. I don't like your socks. They're those funky, thick, white, crew neck sock things. Yeah, guy socks. Guy socks. And I'm a girl, so I don't like guy socks. Except for flu bogs, and I'll wear his socks. Get some spoons. Put that here. You guys, this cream of chicken mushroom soup is delicious. It really is good. Huh, Harry? Yep. Ooh, look how nice. Look at that. Mmm, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Stir it around a little bit. Made a lot, too. I'm surprised. You know? Yeah. God, that smells good. I can smell today. 
I can smell today, I can taste today. I am amazed because some people, like I said earlier today, some people are months out with parosmia. This is the lack of taste and smell from the cootie bug. I'm learning how to say it correctly. But a lot of people have had major issues with it. I think we can split this last little bit up. We had two servings each yesterday. So this does make a full six servings. Nice bowl. So good, yep. so good. <clears throat> you gonna close? Yeah, I'll close because the microwave's just gonna make a whole bunch of noise. Yep. So Harry's gonna have half a bologna sandwich and a bowl of soup. We're each gonna have that. Probably, I'm gonna try to have a root beer, a Zevia root beer today because I can probably taste it again. I'm excited. Anyway, you guys, what is tomorrow? Let's go ahead and cross off today. Tomorrow is a protein sparing modified fast day for those of you who are well. It is a high priority protein day. No more than 10 carbs, no more than 30 grams of fat and move your body. She would like to say, would you like to say good night? Say good night. Everybody, please remember to like, subscribe, ring the little bell, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you right here tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Here, now it's your turn. It's your turn. Where did all your stuff go? Down the second shelf. I found it. I found it, Sally. And Papa's got to feed you anyway while we eat, huh? Yeah, I'm going to feed you dinner. Don't give her too much. What? Oh, that was a that cheese. Was a cheese. That was a cheat. You swallowed that right down. I'm gonna throw it. Mark, say go. <laughs> you cannot run and chew at the same time, little girl. Anyway, you guys, we'll see everybody tomorrow. Gotta get this in the microwave, man. I can't believe how good it smells. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, indeedy.